What's happening, guys? A little update here. With this channel, I feel like I'm called to simply document my life. To be as real and as raw as possible because I, I, it's just, it's hard to explain. There, there's no other way to say it than to, just to feel called, than to feel called to do it. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to film. I'm not going to put on some real estate. Oh, here's this house. Four bedrooms, three baths. I'm not going to do any of that. No more neighborhood spotlights. It's not really who I am. I want to get connected with people. And I want to help people. And I want to be myself. Because it is exhausting talking in a different way when filming. Especially when you film every single day. And you have to be canned, so to speak. And you have to put on some kind of front. It's just exhausting. So no more of that. This channel is going to be totally revamped. Today we are, I'm going to change out of this, put on something a little bit more formal. And we're going to go to a ranch, a Texas ranch. So if you all have never seen one before, get pumped up for that. About 50 minutes south of here. Jonathan's coming by, my boy Jonathan. And uh, it's a luxury real estate retreat. Is that what it is? No, 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 no. It's a... Uh, Keller Williams Agent Leadership Council R and R retreat. I don't know what they're gonna have planned for us. It's on a massive ranch. Uh, I hope they don't want us to ride horses because I'm not gonna. Are they gonna have a masseuse there? That'd be cool. Probably have some good snacks. <laughs> Either way, it's gonna be super chill and looking forward to it. And after that, we're gonna hit up day four. Day four of the Arnold. Schwarzenegger calendar. Holy smokes. We're getting it. This this program is kicking my tail. I'm waking up. I'm like, oh, what time is it? No. <laughs> uh, it's no joke. It's no joke. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, mass building program. Six days a week. And four weeks straight. Uh, all right. Let the adventures continue. We'll catch you all real soon. All right. You got to put it there. Like, no, you can't introduce. Yes. No, we're going to so, put it right here. Like, we don't know that we're being recorded. No, no, they know that they know that we know we're being recorded. Okay, right. I'm going to pretend like I don't know we're being recorded. All right, yeah. So let's pretend. Yo, Ryan, so you got a company coming over today? Yeah, a little later. A little later. What's it to you? Yeah, well, I just need to figure out where I'm going to sit. Oh, well, yeah, two options. What? My lab? Yeah. Or his. <laughs> yeah, so so Ryan and I, you know, we've been living together for about a month now. And this is, you know, first time one of us is having company and uh, we're figuring out logistics on how how we how, do how stuff do like that. How do we do it? And how do we how do we uh, how do we how do we stay at each other's way but at the same time stay Stay a unit. Yeah, exactly. Stay a unit, you know, because this is our house. Our house. This ain't his house, this is our house. It's, it's Tate's house too. Oh yeah, Tate. Can't forget Tate. Mashed potato. By the way, it's a female. What? Nothing, nothing against the guys there, like the guys, but it's a female coming over. Oh snap! You're like being real specific. No hold yeah, bar. Yeah, I can't. I can't. You know. Yeah. The first time they, we introduced people to me, I on this, I couldn't keep it going though. No, you already introduced. They already know who you are. Okay. Remember? Remember? Dude, Tate, you smell that? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, Tate's wrecking it. What's in his food? Oh, you know what? It's because he ate my dinner the other night on the table. Jeez, bro. All right, dude. Catch you later, mashed potato. All right, go see Jonathan. Ratcliffe. Then we're going to King's Ranch in Driftwood. Never heard of King's Ranch before. Jonathan loves sweets. These are sweet. About a hundred bucks he's gonna have one of these. Save on call. Alright, we got dogs. I don't know if they're wild or not. They look kind of sweet. I'm not trying to get bit. 
What a pretty pup. Two color eyes. At least that one's got a leash on it. Here we are, King Ranch. So the owner of this place is Mark King. All right. So what you saw there was a little bit of, about a market update from a realtor who's been in the business for a little over 20 years. Gosh, what a nice guy. Last time I jacked some weights over here at Lifetime Fitness off of William Cannon. Awesome gym. Got a pool, slides, outdoor cafe. Super awesome. Let's get it. All right, guys. This workout program, Arnold Schwarzenegger, is flipping awesome for a couple of reasons. Um, one, it's a challenge. Okay. If you're not challenging yourself, you're not growing, in my opinion. So, if you notice you're hitting a plateau, uh, I would say it's always good to see how you can push yourself a little bit or simply shake things up. So, enjoying that. A lot. The ALC meeting I was just at over in uh, Drip, Driftwood, rather super nice. Believe it or not, Driftwood is wine country. A lot of vineyards down there, and it's only 30 minutes away from downtown Austin. A fun surprise to those that enjoy the occasional glass of rosé. Jonathan did eat the tasty treats. You can't say no, bro. You can't say no. So I hit the gym, hit the weights, felt real good. Uh, I got chicken parm on the way. Because I've been eating these things called Factor Meals. Factor. Um, I think I saw them on Instagram. I wanted to give them a shot. And they're probably the best pre-made meals I've tried. I've had several. Some that I've had to cook. Some that are pre-made. These are hands down the best ones. I've had some really crappy ones. Like disgusting. Ryan's friend's going to be here eventually. It's a mystery who this person is. It's 8.30. It's getting late. Curfew's 11 o'clock. Lights out. There's something I want to tell you, tell you guys. So with this with our own program, where you track changes. So if y'all are trying to get better in anything, whether it's health and fitness, whether it's relationships, whether it's your business, finances, uh, you win in the preparation and you win in the small steps, such as uh, tracking. Tracking is an extremely small measure. Right? It takes a couple of seconds a day. You write down what you've done. Right? It's tedious, but that's what separates you from being good to great, fine-tuning and perfecting the small things. For example, Michael Phelps, when he was talking last week, he said that he would um, make adjustments from his hand position right, and perfect that hand position to get as much traction, for lack of a better term, in the water. Super cool stuff. Uh, if you want more info and things like that, I'd go to... Um, Pound the Stone. It's a book, a storybook, one of the best audiobooks I've ever listened to in my life because it's one of those things you just can't stop listening to it. Definitely check that out. It's called Pound the Stone. It teaches you the principle of just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. And eventually, the stone's going to crack. You don't know when. You don't know when. And this is an extremely important and valuable philosophy for life. You want to see results. You don't know when you're going to see them. You want to lose weight? Just keep chipping away. A little bit further every day. A little bit further every day. Eventually, you're going to look in the mirror one day. And you're going to say, wow, it happened. Don't know when. Right? So we got to implement the rate gratification. Extremely important. That's another topic for another day. Let's keep it at uh, patience and persistence. Company. Someone's here. Could be my food. Or it could be Ryan's friend. I'm curious to see who this is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, guys. Catch you at the next one. Later.